Hello and welcome to Hatha Yoga Volume 1 for our Lengthen and Liberate series. I hope you are all doing well. When you're ready, give to yourself a moment to find a comfortable space. Perhaps you'd like to join me in a cross-legged seated position, Sukhasana, easy pose. You might like to close the eyes or find a soft gaze. And gently relaxing the facial features, softening the forehead, releasing the muscles around the eyes, creating space around the cheeks, relaxing the tongue, unclenching the jaw. On your next inhale, lengthening the vertebral column. Exhale, gently soften the shoulders, find ease. You might like to take this opportunity to set an intention for today's practice. And give yourself permission to embody the essence of who you truly are. No limitations and no judgments. Recognizing and celebrating your efforts for being here today on the mat to nourish the mind, the body, and the soul. Beginning to tune into the subtleties of the breath, noticing where the breath is manifesting for you in this very moment. Simply observing. Okay, let's get started. Guiding the right heel towards the left sips bone, we're going to cross the left leg over the right, placing the left foot on the outer edge of the right thigh. Inhale, raise the arm skywards. Exhale, spinal twist to the left. You might like to use the outer edge of your right tricep to press into the thigh, perhaps tenting up onto the fingers behind you, and beginning to tune into the breath. With every inhalation, feel the spinal column lengthening. Feel yourself rooting down into the earth. And with every exhalation, seeing if you can twist a little more. Inhale, return to center. Beautiful work. We'll swap the cross of the legs, this time crossing the right leg over the left. Roll the shoulders back, raise the arms skywards. Exhale, twist to the right, finding your variation. Noticing where you feel sensation. Perhaps you feel a stretch behind the shoulder blade, maybe the outer glutes. You might notice a lengthening in the back of the neck. 
remembering that we all have our own unique experiences. So tuning into the subtleties of what this practice gives you today. Inhale, mindfully raise the arms skywards and gently float the arms down. From here, we'll keep the right leg crossed, extend the left leg, grounding down through the left heel, keeping the foot flexed. Inhale, raise the arms, exhale, lateral spinal flexion, lowering down onto your left forearm, raising the right arm overhead, stretching the fingertips. If it's in your practice, you might like to gaze up. Or if you notice any uncomfortable sensation around the neck, you might like to gaze towards the earth. Broadening the heart space, opening the shoulders, feeling a beautiful stretch along the right side of your torso, and doing your best to keep the right glute in contact with the earth. Lightly contracting the quadriceps of your left leg to help protect the articulation of your knee. Breathing into any regions of the body where you're feeling sensation. Inhale, return to center, beautiful. And we'll take this on the other side, extending the right leg out. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, bend over to the right. Honoring your own possibilities for today. Lightly contracting the abdomen here to protect the lower back. Finding a softness around the face, the neck and the shoulders. On your next inhale, raising the torso upright, crossing the right leg in and we'll turn to face the short edge of the mat, extending both legs out in front, lengthening the spinal column, taking a moment to observe if your body weight is evenly distributed across both glutes, across both legs. Keeping the right leg extended will bend the left knee, guiding the left heel close to the glutes. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, wrap the left arm around the left leg and guide your right arm behind you, perhaps interlacing the fingers together, or you might like to grab a hold of one of the wrists. Doing your best to keep the chest squared, shoulders are facing forwards, and seeing if you can hinge the torso forwards from the hips. This posture provides a beautiful compression of the left thigh against the abdomen, really helping to stimulate digestion as we gently massage the internal organs. Keeping that right leg activated. Mindful breaths. Inhale, gently release the bind, and this time we'll guide the left foot over to the outer edge of the right thigh, and we'll come into a seated spinal twist. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, twist the torso to the left, lower the arms down, tenting up onto the left fingertips behind you, and pressing that right tricep into the left thigh. You might notice a deeper stretch in this twisting variation. Again, a beautiful posture for digestion and another lovely way to wake up the spinal column in the morning. Inhale, gaze forwards, raise the arms skywards. Exhale, gently uncross the left leg. 
one breath here and we'll get set up to take these twists on the other side guiding the right heel in towards the glutes raise the arms and finding a bind as you guide that right arm around the right leg noticing if the breath becomes a little constrictive seeing if you can soften seeing if you can be okay with where you are at right here right now Inhale, mindfully release the bind and guiding the right foot over to the outer edge of the left leg, finding your variation of this seated spinal twist. Noticing the sensations around the mid to upper back, the outer hips. Breathe. Inhale, gaze forwards, raise the arms, exhale, release the arms and extend the right leg, beautiful effort. You might like to find some internal and external hip rotation here. Coming into a forward fold, Paschimottanasana, hinging the hips forwards, we'll start off with bent legs, elevating the knees and allowing the belly and the chest to melt the top of the thighs. Only then might you consider extending the legs and really doing your best to keep that connection between the torso and the legs. Lengthening from the hips. Softening the upper back. And perhaps resting on your forearms. Finding stillness. Feeling a beautiful release along the entire posterior chain. Reminding yourself that you can always close your eyes for a more introspective experience. Gifting yourself one more loving breath in Paschimottanasana. If you are in a forward fold, mindfully placing your palms underneath the shoulders and using core and arm strength to gently unravel the spine, raising the torso. Beautiful. From here we'll come into a tabletop position on all fours, Balmanasana. Tucking the toes under, walking the fingertips out in front a few centimeters and we'll raise the hips extending the legs, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. It might feel nice to pedal out the legs here, inviting some mobility into the outer hips and eventually finding stillness.
gazing between the legs, between the feet, slightly tucking the chin towards the chest to really help you lengthen the back of the neck. Rounding down through the index fingers and the thumbs to protect the wrists. Remembering to roll the biceps forwards whilst rolling the triceps backwards to really help protect the shoulders and the arms. Engaging the lower abdomen. Imagining that you can glue that belly button to the spine to really protect the lower back here. And noticing if the rib cage begins to puff up. If so, seeing if you can soften. Seeing if you can knit those ribs together whilst maintaining a fluid breath. Float the heels up and begin to mindfully walk the feet to the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold Uttanasana, bending the knees, allowing the chest to rest atop of the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, straighten the legs. Exhale, forward fold, twice more. When you come up into a flat back, you might like to place your palms on your shins or keep your fingertips on the earth, it's up to you. And this time coming into a forward fold, if you have the range of motion and the flexibility in your hamstrings, you might like to keep the legs straight here. If possible, keeping the hips aligned with the knees and the ankles. Maybe guiding your nose towards your knees. Finding stillness. One more loving breath in this forward fold. And from here, gently bending the knees, and we'll begin to roll up into a standing position into Tadasana, head coming up last. Great job. From here, we'll come into a wide-legged stance, separating the feet a few feet apart. Inhale, raise the arms skywards. Exhale, hinge the torso forwards, coming into a standing forward fold. You might find greater stability if you guide your toes inwards and your heels outwards on a diagonal. Perhaps resting on your forearms. You might like to grab a hold of the outer edges of the ankles to really help you bend the torso towards the earth. Perhaps resting the crown of your head on the earth if you have the mobility. If you are presently residing in a tighter body, you might like to separate the feet slightly to give you a greater range of motion, helping you get closer to the earth. Noticing the stretch along the back of the legs, perhaps the back, allowing the shoulders, the back of the neck to soften. From here, placing your left palm in the middle of your legs, raising the right arm skywards, twisting the torso to the right, maybe gazing up, doing your best to keep the pelvis stable. A great way to determine this is to place your palm on the sacral region of your spine and notice if the hips and the pelvis begin to tilt slightly. Exhale, right palm down. Inhale, raise the left arm, gaze up. Finding a softness in your experience. Reconnecting with your inner state of peace and well-being. Mindfully lower the left palm down and this time it will guide both hands over to the right ankle. Guiding the torso towards that right leg. You might notice a tremendous stretch along the back of the leg, particularly the hamstrings. So be compassionate. Give yourself the space and the time to arrive in this posture. Mindfully returning to center and this time guiding the arms and your torso towards the left leg. Breathe.
inhale center and this time you might like to interlace opposite elbows together really softening here Transitioning into Skandasana, low side lunge on the left, keeping the right foot flexed facing skywards, knowing that you can always keep the hips elevated, otherwise guiding the hips down towards the earth, feeling a beautiful release for the inner thighs, and mindfully guiding yourself over to the right, taking a low side lunge on the other side. Let's transition through these postures a few more times either using your fingertips for support or joining the palms together at heart center, really activating the inner thighs to help you with these transitions. Reminding yourself that the transitions between postures are equally as important as the postures themselves. And this time we'll pause in Skandasana on the left. You might like to find a bind, interlacing your fingers together wrapping the left arm behind the left leg, gazing up, really engaging the quadriceps of that right leg to help protect the knee. If this posture is proving inaccessible, know that you could always rest your pelvis, your hips on a block, releasing from the bind and guiding the hips over to the right to Skandasana, finding your variation Reminding yourself that the more you show up to a posture with compassion, with patience and faith, the easier it will become and you will feel and begin to notice improvements. So keep trusting yourself, keep showing up, keep smiling and having a good time. Mindfully release, join the palms together and we'll come into Malasana Yogi Squat. Heel toeing the feet together slightly, heels in, toes out. Join the palms together and use the triceps to help open the inner thighs. Lengthening the spinal column. Great job. From here, gently placing your fingertips down on the earth to support you. Lower the sits bones down and we'll again turn to face the short edge of the mat. Bending the knees, placing the soles of the feet on the earth, palms under the thighs, feet are hip width distance apart, and we'll begin to slowly roll down onto our backs one vertebra at a time, engaging the core muscles here to support you. From here, we'll come into plow pose halasana, so we're going to use momentum to elevate the hips up off the mat. We're going to place our palms underneath the sacral region of our spine, perhaps the lumbar region, and we're going to guide our legs, extending the legs overhead, placing the toes on the floor, keeping the feet flexed, extending the back of the ankles. You might like to have your arms extended the length of the mat, palms facing towards the earth, or interlacing your fingers together. A slight compression of the throat here engaging the core and if possible seeing if you can get your hips aligned with your shoulders this is a beautiful posture to stretch the entire posterior chain you might like to stay here or playing around with extending one leg at a time raising one leg skywards coming into a variation of an inverse supported splits this is a great way to simultaneously strengthen and stretch the hamstrings. Doing your best to keep the hips squared. You might like to come into ear pressure pose, this time bending the knees and guiding the knees on either side of the ears. Leaning into what your body needs in this moment.
seeing if you can soften the breath. Notice if you're storing any tension around the back or around the shoulders and guiding your breath there. If you were in ear pressure pose, so gently re-extending the legs and we'll use core strength to slowly roll out of the posture, lowering the pelvis down, drawing the knees to the chest, finding any organic movement here that feels nourishing. Interlacing your fingers around the right shin, guiding the right knee to the right armpit, extending the left leg, grounding down through that left heel. The left toes and the left kneecap are facing skywards, feeling a beautiful hip release here. Either staying here in wind relieving posture or we'll come into a spinal twist, using the left palm to guide the right knee over to the left. Perhaps extending the right arm out at shoulder height, palm facing towards the earth. Or you might like to cactus the arm out, palm facing skywards. Feeling a beautiful stretch in the lower to mid back, perhaps the outer hips. And giving yourself permission to soften here. Gifting yourself one more loving breath in this spinal twist. Inhale, gently unraveling, guiding both knees to the chest. Maybe swaying the hips from side to side. And when you're ready, setting up for Bawa Mukdasana, wind relieving posture on the other side. Perhaps coming into a spinal twist as you guide the left knee over to the right. Great work, gently releasing, drawing the knees together one last time. And we'll close practice today in Shavasana. Extending the legs, relaxing the arms, allowing the hips to externally rotate slightly. Allow the feet to splay out to the side. Feel yourself becoming one with the earth. Feel yourself melting into this posture, utilizing the breath to help you stay present and to help you breathe through any discomfort, 
allowing yourself to reconnect with your inner peace as you dwell in a space of harmony and trust. You might like to remind yourself of the intention that you set for yourself at the beginning of practice or simply resting in stillness. I invite you to pause the video and rest in Shavasana for as long as you like. And when you're ready, beginning to slowly reanimate the body, perhaps wiggling the toes, the fingers, gently rolling the head and the neck from side to side. joining the legs together, interlacing your fingers and raising the arms overhead, stretching the body in either direction, gently releasing, mindfully rolling onto one side, coming into a fetal position, keeping the eyes closed. using the support of your hands to help you guide yourself upright to a seated position. Inhale, raise the arms skywards. Exhale, lower the palms to heart center. Thanking yourself for showing up here today, for committing to this practice, for honoring your well-being and the well-being of your environment and your community. I send you all of my love and light. Thank you for today. Namaste.